In today's video, shooting the recently released Mafex Bane with a camera. Relax, I'm not that violent. Here I'll be showing you the setups I used for the photos in my Mafex Bane review, as well as telling you which lenses I used and the aperture and shutter speed. Now don't forget, everything you see in the video will be available to purchase via affiliate links in the description below. Consume! Yeah, sorry about that. At the end of the video, comment below with what kind of toy photography tutorial you'd like to see next. And now, on to the shots! Yeah! yeah. Here is setup one of Bane. Just walking out in front of that building. We have no filter over that light. That's just white light. We have a red filter over that light. And we have no filter over this light. It's just turned down kind of low so we don't hit Bane too hard with light. And there's your setup. Now this piece here, I'm going to hold in front of the lens so it gives a little bit of a sort of a blurry foreground. So that's why that's there. Now in the back through the window, you'll see I have my iPad set up and that is using the Best Nightlight app. So you see red light coming through here, that's off my iPad, Best Nightlight. So there you go folks, that is the setup for this first shot. Now I'm gonna take the shot, I'm gonna show you the shot straight out of the camera. It's gonna have the ISO, the aperture, the shutter speed, the lens, all that good stuff. And then you'll see a photoshopped version Then we'll be on to the next one. So let's do this. For pick number two, we're going pretty simple. Here's Bane. I'm going to shoot kind of upwards at him, have him looking all freaking out and angry, maybe like he just pumped himself full of venom. There's a diffuser over this LED and a blue filter over this one. And then on top of Bane, I'm going to shine my cell phone down on him using the best nightlight just to add a little bit of light going on sort of in this area. Otherwise, I'm going to silhouette him and I don't really want that for this shot. So there you go. Real simple setup on this one. You'll see the straight out of the camera shot with all the stats. Then you'll see the photoshopped one. Let's do it. For this third pick, we're quite a ways back. But as we move up, we see it's Bane being all flanked by Harley and Joker who actually look a little worried about the situation. You've got a purple filter over that light. I have kind of a green, sort of a teal green and yellow to give it a true green on that light. And then just another low light here on white to make sure and give some actual color to this shot. I'm also going to use something to hold right in front of the lens so that I get a little bit of foreground down here in the corner with Mr. J. So. I'm going to shoot this, you'll see the photoshop shot, and you'll see the out of the camera shot with all the stats. Here we go. And here we are quite a ways back from the shot. Now we finally brought the bat in for this one. Here's Bane being all imposing with Batman in the foreground. There's a red filter over this light. I actually have kind of a gray filter over that one. And we're still keeping this one with no filter, just a really soft light. Looks red. Kind of weird what my camera's doing there. But here you go. These are these guys just standing, getting ready to throw down. Now something I'm going to do is use the best nightlight on my phone again to light the top of these two just to give them a little more color. Really, never underestimate the power of your cell phone. It works pretty well for lighting. And after I shoot this, well, 
you know the drill by now. You're going to see the end of the camera shot with the stats and the Photoshop shot. So, let's do it. Another shot from a ways back as we have Bane and Batman preparing to go toe to toe, charging at each other, kind of old school 80s intro theme song style. And what we've got is a red filter over that light, a red filter over that light, and we're still sticking with white to show off some of the real color, and yes, I'm going to light the top of these guys with my smartphone. By the way, that Best Nightlight app I keep talking about, what the color I've been using is white to again bring out the real color of the figures. Anywho, I'm going to shoot this, and you know the drill. Out of the camera shot with the stats, then Photoshop shot, then on to the next one. And now another setup with the Batman Bane throwdown. This time Bane's getting the big punch in. So you can see that going on, all kinds of action. I'm going to try and get this recorded before they fall because this has been tricky. Now I've got a blue light filter covering that light. I've got a red light filter covering this light. And then this one again, just keeping it white, just so I can get some real color. And again, I almost feel like it's redundant at this point, but I'm going to light the top of them with the phone and you'll see the camera shot with the stats and then the Photoshop shot. So let's do this. And we have another one from a ways out, but you can't do a Batman Bane photo shoot without Bane breaking the bat. Now, obviously I've been using the red filters quite a bit here, but for this one, the reason I'm using red is it's fairly close to orange, and when I put it in Photoshop, I'm going to try and make the background a little more orange, just like that comic book has it. Anywho, we have red there, we have red there, and we have white here. Again, the white is there to bring out the true color of the figures. And again, I'll be using my phone to light up the very top of these guys. And again, you'll see the out of camera shot with the stats and the Photoshop pick. So, let's see those. And then it's on to the eighth and final shot. And finally, here we go, the eighth and final shot. And of course, I had to shoot Bane holding up the bat for this one. Now, I've got a blue filter over that light, another blue filter over that light, just because blue, sad, you know? I mean, he just broke the bat, he's holding him up, he's about to throw him down, although I don't really have enough weight inside the diode to support him being on the roof. Otherwise, I would have shot that. And then I have this white light here, which has pretty much remained white all the way through. And I have it angled this way because I don't want it to reflect in the windows behind Bane. So of course, I'll be using my phone to light Bane up just a little bit to get a little more of his color popping through. So there you go. That's pretty much it. This will likely be the thumbnail I use for the regular Bane review video. So there's that as well. Now, you definitely know the drill. I'm going to take the pic, you'll see it out of the camera with the stats, then you'll see the Photoshop version, and then we'll finish this video up. Let's do this! And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Shot setups and more information from the pics you saw in the Mafex Bane review. That was, uh, that was a fun shoot. 
Now don't forget to comment below with whatever toy photography tutorial you'd like me to tackle next. Nailed it! As always, thank you very much for taking time out of your day to check out today's video. As always, it's massively appreciated. So until next time, have fun and happy snapping. See ya. I like shooting, I like me fix, I like action force, and some Jada, and singing horribly off-key so I don't get a copyright strike. Yeah.